I can't help but automatically think of Fry Life and Slice of Lime when I was thinking of how little energy I had to do things. Morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? Eh, I'm not doing that great. I'm tired. Kind of not feeling good. I was coughing a lot yesterday. Still feeling kind of icky, but I'll be all right. Right now, I'm at Sonic getting me some caffeine before I head to work. So, exciting adventure. I just wanted to check in with you guys and tell you good morning, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys. So there's Riddler, there's Miss Sassy, she was thumbing her tail, wait, there it goes, can you see it? Sassy girl, such a good girl. And there's Emerald, hi buddy, who's a good boy. <coughs> so, sorry I've not been vlogging much, again, this upper respiratory infection is really wearing me out. Um, just everyday little things are making me so tired. And <coughs> sorry, like taking a shower or putting mousse in my hair to get it to look like this instead of like a frizzy mess. I almost said fuzzy, but that works too. Um, takes so much energy. And then, of course, I keep thinking of, like, like those of you out there that suffer from chronic illness, like chronic physical illness. Now, before I go on with that point, some of you may ask, why do I say chronic physical? Because the way I see it and the way that my doctors have seen it, mental illness is also a cr chronic illness. It's just its own category of chronic. Because, like, chronic physical illness and chronic mental illness, they're both going to last for a long time. So, there you go. But, I can't help but automatically think of fry life and slice of lime. When I was thinking of how little energy I had to do things, I'm like, this is something... I'm, like, whining and moaning about this now. But, it'll go away. Pretty soon. For, like... In the case of Mary and Carissa, hi guys, um, it doesn't go away. Like, everyday tasks are so exhausting. And I keep having to remind myself, you know, there are people who have it worse off. So, I need to quit whining as much. Like, I'm coughing a lot and my chest is really hurting and it's hard to breathe, but I'm like, you know... This is something Mary Fry deals with every single day with cystic fibrosis. I think you could deal with it for about a week. So then it makes me feel guilty, of course. And I'm just like, why? Just, oh well. Then of course I had my internship today, which became mentally exhausting because we had a lot of people today. There was like four birthday parties that happened, so a lot of children... Um, a lot of, I had to make sure two goats didn't escape, because I, they did escape at one point. Mainly because people had food, and they get really excited when there's food around, so, there was that. I finally made way with the pony that tried to kick me. Yay! Just gave him a carrot, and he did better. He wasn't happy about being tied up still, and he tried to be nippy, but in the end it was fine. Also, feel bad, what are you chewing on? MRL. Oh, okay, that's a bone. Never mind. You can go for it. Okay. That was just another coughing fit. I hate these so much. Now they're not really bringing up anything. It's just very painful. And the thing I especially hate is when I have a coughing fit when driving. Because that's dangerous. But, you know, things happen. So, I want to tell you guys I'm sorry that vlogs are late. 
sorry there's not as much stuff going on with the vlogs. I'm just really tired. Internship a little was a part of it, but it's mainly been the sickness. And I really don't get sick that much, so usually I get pretty sick if whenever I do. But fun fact, the when you know I'm really really sick is when I'm losing my voice. What are you doing? Just get the bone, puppy. You goose. Emerald, you're a silly goose. I also feel bad because of being sick. I haven't really worked with Emerald as much. So, I feel like we're behind in training, but, I mean, he has what I call his dailies. Like, the things I basically have him do almost every day. Like, sit, stay, come, leave it, let's go, up, down, that kind of thing. So, those are things he does on a daily basis. Um, whenever we've been outside, we have been working on here, which is where I point to a spot, and he has to come to that spot. And we're working on healing, which he's doing okay at. It's not really that he wants to pull. He'll walk ahead of me, but he won't really pull me. But he just isn't sure about the healing part yet. At least he's not chewing on the leash anymore. <coughs> okay, so... Now, I'm really exhausted from today and from coughing out my lungs everywhere. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, when you get sick, what do you do to try to feel better? I know I put on essential oils like I am now. That contains thieves, eucalyptus, and peppermint. And a little bit of peace and calming, because I usually do that one every night. And then it just depends. If I have a sore throat, I eat marshmallows, which is weird, but gelatin coats your throat. Hi, baby. I get snuggles from the doggies. Especially this doggy. He likes to snuggle. Hey, buddy. Have you been a good boy? Yeah, I have, Mommy. I have. Guys, Tuesday he goes for his 12-week appointment. He turns 12 weeks on Monday. You are getting so big. You are getting so big. And on the 24th, he'll turn three months old. Three months! You're getting so big. How do you feel, Pop? You don't even care. <coughs> So put your answers down below for question of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Sassafrasum. Good night, baby boy. Sweet dreams.